Well, Nat, when I first met her, well, she was obviously very pretty and very, seemed very nice, but I didn't know her music. And I heard her demos, and I'm very particular about songwriting in that I, most people I've ever come in contact with seem to need a lot of help arranging songs, shaping them so they're not too long or they have their peaks and valleys. I have certain ways I like songs to feel. Nat, I didn't have to do anything. Trabajar con Gary ha sido increíble, porque desde un principio eh, ha estado muy en conexión conmigo y realmente me he dado cuenta de que teníamos muchos gustos en común. Cosa que no me sorprende porque siempre he sido muy fan de The Jayhawks y, en mi opinión, Gary es uno de los mejores compositores actuales. Y estaba esperando a verla después de escuchar eso porque podías ver que estaba influenciada por algunos sonidos de estos americanos. Hay 10 diferentes tipos de música country music así que ella escoge y escoge un pequeño poco de todos ellos. So, so she's kind of got her own really unique little style. Great songs, uh, melodic, soulful. The lyrics were cool, uh, but she, her arrangements were all very economical and smart. And uh, also her singing is incredible and uh, every song was, was strong, and I don't say that lightly. I think it's, it was important to me, and I think to her, that Nat played guitar on this record. Um, not all the lead guitar, but she played some electric, she played acoustic, she played, she sang, she played some percussion. It's not just her and a bunch of studio guys. It was a real band, and she was really the leader of the band, which I think is cool, because, you know, el día que más recuerdo de esta experiencia fue el primer día de grabación, que fue el primer contacto que tuve con la banda, His Golden Messenger. Y fue sorprendente porque apenas llevábamos unas horas que nos habíamos conocido y eso empezó a sonar como si lleváramos tocando 10 años. The band was able to set up and play totally live, and quite a bit of the final record is stuff that was all done live on the floor, you know, in one take as the band played. We overdubbed a few things and cleaned up a few things here and there, but the record as a whole was a live record. project and on this record everything just kind of came together we call it kismet like fate good things happened it just turned out I was moving to North Carolina uh, my good friend Django Haskins who's in a great band called the old ceremony and is also in a great band with me called au pair suggested this studio overdub lane and in Durham North Carolina and uh, I came over and visited uh, and really liked it. It seemed the right scale, the right size. Not the biggest studio, it's not the fanciest studio, but it's also perfect. That's right, right? It's like going the four or one five? Okay. 
See, Janko's very important in this whole, <laughs> this whole process. He suggested that I check out certain musicians, one group being his gold messenger, who are from Durham, North Carolina. And uh, turns out I was still living in Minneapolis, and they were coming through the Twin Cities, and I went to see them play. And uh, I was really impressed. Uh, I had not met them until the first day of the studio when they walked in the door. And instantly, it just clicked, you know, like uh, Brad uh, Cook, who's uh, one of the Cook brothers. He plays bass, among other things, but he, he is the bass player. Phil Cook uh, plays uh, everything, but basically piano, organ, uh, guitar, slide guitar, banjo, uh, whatever is thrown in front of him, he plays. And he plays it like uh, it's unbelievable. So, and it was great uh, drummer named Darren Jesse who uh, also has played a long time with Ben Folds Five. Mike to come. Mike is uh, Taylor's lead singer from his Golden Messenger. He came in and sang a little bit, and uh, Django came in when we needed some uh, electric guitar that was more rock, and. Uh, so, uh, and I played a little bit, but it, it just worked out great. El hecho de que sea gente que escucha música americana actual, que toca con bandas americanas actuales, o que pueda entender mis influencias musicales de ahora, era muy importante para este disco, porque quería dar un cambio en el sonido y hacerlo un poco más moderno y más actual, y alejarme un poco de ese pozo clásico que tienen mis anteriores discos, como son Home on High o Trouble Man. Feel she's a very strong person. She comes off as kind of sweet and and uh, shy, but she's a very strong, uh, formidable person, and uh, she was showed no fear. I give her a lot of credit to come to a, a strange country that she's never been to. Stay in kind of a lousy hotel around the corner so she could uh, just walk here and uh, start this incredible adventure. Trust in me, which I appreciate. She has very strong ideas. She knows what she wants, which is not typical of a lot of artists. They can be very confused. She gave me sheets of paper, some with some imagery, like photographs, and some with just links to other references, and describing emotionally and lyrically what each song is about, what she was trying to convey with the atmosphere, which was very interesting. It wasn't just like a pop record. I want this record to sell a bunch of records. She just, she has emotional uh, depth and she wanted to uh, relate that through her songs. So I had a very good uh, head start with the notes that she gave me and I tried to be respectful um, to her and her thoughts. But uh, it was just great because she... Uh, Nat is, uh, you could just count on her to sing great. And, uh, I've never seen anybody be able to harmonize with themselves so perfectly, so quickly, and work so hard. And uh, uh, she really is a joy to work with. I really think that this music of hers is going to mean a lot to people. Now, you never know how many, uh, but it's going to mean something to somebody because uh, it has soul, it has depth, it has beauty. Um, so I'm excited for her. It was my luck, my honor to work with her. and. Uh, I only hope I can do a good enough job to give her the start on a future that she deserves. El título del nuevo álbum es 
es Lights, que significa luces. Y es un disco que las canciones las he escrito en una época de mi vida mucho más luminosa y más feliz. Y es un disco que me gusta porque está lleno de historias reales, de personajes reales. Y yo creo que es un disco de verdades. No. Oh. 